Hey y'all, welcome back for another hunting ammo ballistics gel test. I'm personally excited for this one. Today we've got Barnes Vortex, their 120 grain TTSX boat tail bullet in seven millimeter on eight. Let's see what it does. And here's your box for that Barnes Vortex, whoops, wrong way, 120 grain TTSX boat tail bullet for the seven millimeter odd eight. Flipping it around, here is your promo info. Feel free to stop, pause, and read that if you would like. It's just talking about the X bullet. Flipping it around here, let's take a look at velocity. Velocity is stated at 3,005 feet per second. That's trucking along for seven millimeter odd eight. Let's go ahead and whip one out and take a look. And there it is, blue plastic tip on your Barnes bullet. Nice looking stuff let's go shoot it and see how it does and my test rifle today is my ruger american gen 2 chambered in seven millimeter odd eight of course it's got a 20 inch barrel and we are taking advantage of that threaded muzzle up top we've got a vortex diamond back scope and i've got it in my own custom painted gen 1 stock and coming on back i've got to show you one of my handmade leather cartridge cuffs check out my website masonleather.com to get yourself one i would love to make you one and I've also got one of my super thick Latigo leather slings here, also available on my website, masonleather.com. If you're looking for a leather sling that'll last a lifetime, you're going to want to check these out. And coming around to the other side, I've got to show you my white-tailed deer design. We'll be taking three shots from 100 yards, firing into 10% ballistics gel that has been calibrated to meet the FBI's ballistics testing protocol. And while ballistics gel isn't an exact proxy for big game, it does provide a repeatable medium through which to test various bullets and ammo against each other. After the shots, we'll examine bullet expansion, weight retention, penetration, and velocity. My goal is to provide hunters like you and I with the most objective information possible to help us make the best choice for our particular hunting situation. The ballistics gel in this video has been sourced from Clear Ballistics. You can find a link in the description. So let's go ahead and shoot it. And here are your velocities for that Barnes 120 grain TTSX load out of the 7 odd 8, minimum 2760, maximum 2852 for an average of 2803. And a quick announcement, if you'd like early access to my videos weeks and even months in advance of everyone else, become a channel member. The links will be in the video description and the pinned comment. Thanks y'all. And we are down here at the blocks after firing that Barnes 120 grain TTSX load out of the 7mm on 8. We did capture all three bullets with a caveat, so here's two of them. There's one right there down towards the bottom of the block and another right there. See if we can get a better look. Here we go from the side. We can see them a little bit better. Looks like they expanded nicely, maintained their direction of travel. And then coming on back... Here is the third bullet, or first, I don't know which, you know, iteration it was in which I fired it, but as you can see, it angled down in the block and it absolutely impacted the plywood of the tabletop and dumped a lot of energy and then arced up. So we're not going to count this one for the sake of objectivity because it did table strike. But it also looks like it did hold together completely and expand nicely, just like a TSX does, or in this case a TTSX. But for the sake of evaluating, you know, weight retention, expansion stuff, we're just going to look at these two. And so penetration wise, we got one right there. It's hard to see here, but I can see it with my eyes. Kissing 28 inches. And this one is about 28 and a half inches. So very consistent. And again, we're not going to count that one. Coming on back to the first block, you can see it better from the side here. The wound tracks are very narrow, which is sort of par for the course for the TTSX and TSX line of bullets. They don't create massive wound tracks. What they're meant to do is, you know, create a nice little spiral wound track, but penetrate deep. And these wound tracks start, you know, by about the one inch mark. And it's a little tough to see with the glare, but they taper off very quickly by about the six and a half to seven inch mark. The, you know, main wound channel is done and then they're just penetrating on through. So let's go ahead and dig these out and take a look. And real quick, if you're watching this video anytime around when it came out, I'm having a huge sale on my website, masonleather.com. Go check it out and get yourself something. All right, y'all, we got those bullets pulled out of the blocks. Let's go ahead and take a look at them. The Barnes 120 grain TTSX boat tails out of the seven millimeter odd eight. I was personally very excited to test these. I like testing sort of lighter for caliber copper bullets. I wish there were more options like that, but let's hit the numbers weight retention. Now remember that bullet on the left there in the photo, that was the one that we had a table strike. So we're not actually going to use the numbers for that one. 
in our overall calculations, but I will mention them. So we saw 119, 119, and 119 grains retained weight across the board, even the table strike one, for 99% weight retention, absolutely excellent. Whether you count the one that table striked or not. Expansion wise, 0.54 for the table strike one, 0.52 and 0.54 inches for an average of just the two that didn't table strike of 0.53 inches expanded diameter. And actually that one that we're excluding would have increased it. Now it works out to 1.9x expansion, which is about par for the course for solid copper monolithic bullets in most of your mid-range calibers. They tend to be in the 1.8, 1.9x range. Velocity wise, our high velocity was 2852, our low was 2760 for an average of 2803 feet per second versus the factory build velocity of 3005 feet per second. So on average, this load came in 202 feet per second under the factory stated velocity. Now, I know we're shooting this out of a 20 inch barrel rifle. It's what I have. No one's providing me rifles for this. No, there's no factory sponsors coming to me for any of this stuff. I'm sure you can understand why I call it like I see it. But even for a 20 inch barrel, 202 feet per second under is really slow. I compiled all the velocity data for all the seven on eight loads that I've tested. I think the total is 19 so far. And when I compare all of them versus their own factory spec across all bullet weights and everything, coming in 202 feet per second slow is way down there. Now, if you're using a 24 inch barreled rifle or a 22, yeah, you're gonna chew up a little bit of that velocity, but you're not gonna make up the whole 202 feet per second. There's no way. And at the end of the day, velocity is really the last thing that I'm worried about. And our estimated velocity down there at impact at 100 yards would be about 2,579 feet per second. On to penetration. So we're not gonna count the one bullet that table striked. The other two went 28 inches and 28 and a half inches for an average rounded up to the nearest half inch of 28 and a half inches. That's pretty darn good penetration for a, you know, a bullet that's on the lighter side of your typical loads for a caliber. You know, seven odd eight tends to be 120 to 140 grains. There's some 150 and even 160 grainers out there. Most of them are 120 to 140. So this is on, you know, the lighter side of that. So getting 28 and a half inches of penetration is pretty darn good. And really with a solid copper monolithic bullet like a Barnes, I wouldn't expect much less than that. They tend to penetrate really deep. You sacrifice the expansion for that depth of penetration. There's always a trade-off. And kinetic energy wise with a 120 grain bullet going on average 2,803 feet per second, we're looking at 2,093 foot pounds at the muzzle and about 1,772 foot pounds down there at 100 yards. All right, y'all, time for my final thoughts on this Barnes 120 grain TTSX boat tail load out of the seven millimeter odd eight. They performed about like I thought they would. 99% weight retention, 1.9X expansion. That's what we tend to see from Barnes TSX or TTSX bullets, and it's what we saw here. These were going a bit slower than I wish they would have been. I don't think even with a 24 inch barrel, you're gonna eat up that 202 feet per second. It is what it is. Hey, look on the bright side, it's gonna recoil less if you're looking for maybe a lighter recoiling load. And penetration was really good, especially for a bullet on the lighter side for caliber. It's way past the 20 inch mark I like to see for medium game hunting. It's up there in the range I wanna see for you know stuff on the bigger side of medium game. Maybe you're hunting black bear or mule deer or something. Stuff that's a little bit bigger than your typical whitetail, this could be an option for you. Even though if I was doing that, I think I'd go with a heavier bullet overall. That's just me. So all in all, I think it performed pretty good. In my opinion, if I'm setting up my 7 on 8 for hunting, I, I, I don't know that this is going to be at the top of my list. It wouldn't be a bad choice for anything. I just, I don't know if it's at the top of my list personally. But if you've used this load on game, let me and everyone else know in the comments how it did for you. And check out my website, masonleather.com, and get yourself some leather gear handmade by me just for you. I've been handcrafting leather gear for hunters for over a decade and I would love to make you something. And there are hundreds of reviews on my website so you can see what real hunters have to say about their mason leather gear. And also tons of photos showing all the customizable options, including name, initial, and caliber stamping as well as wild game designs and more. Everything is handmade by me right here in the USA.
I would love to be a part of your hunt through my leather gear. And it helps support this channel, so I can bring you more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests, and lots of other cool stuff in the future. The link will be in the video description and the pinned comment, or you can just type masonleather.com into your web browser. And click one of these cards for more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests.